Let me hear you say warriors, warriors. Today we're talking about special interest areas. FIA. A little bit backwards on the on the on the board, but special interests are it's huge, huge. So I got a couple of things for Oakland for KD. The last out that was given away at Oracle. And of course got the here's the rally. And got scoreboards, score charts, and all that. So really like so why why is it important? Why is the special interest stuff important? Well, kids that's on the spectrum, um, they have an amazing ability to focus or hyper focus on one thing like so much that they can become almost an expert at an early age at any specific subject. So what I wanted to do, and what I used to do as my for my project in school, I used um, I used my time working for the Warriors and I'm still with the Warriors, but I'm not in school. But I used the time with working with the Warriors to um, to teach the kids that's on the spectrum, especially those that um, really like the Warriors. So we use the Warriors, the whole team, as just a special interest area for everything, um, be it um, socialization and be it math, um, everything. So I'm going to speak briefly about how to use a special interest area. Um, I guess I'll do a twofold. I'll do a special interest areas on um, socializ socialization, so socializing with typical and atypical peers, and then also um, how we used to use or how we use the tip off cards. So um, the tip off cards, everything is based off of the special interest that the kids that's on the spectrum they love the Warriors. So as soon as they see this, or see this, or see this, or anything with the Warriors. They're there. They're focused. So I use that time as, I mean, as prime time to teach them since they're already focused, since they already have, I have their attention and I don't want to lose their attention. I can make a whole class pretty much about the Warriors. Being, be it that the colors, you know, if you put blue and green together, what colors they make, what colors are the Warriors, how many players on the team, what number do staff wear, or wear what number do play wear. If you divide, you know, Steph Jersey number into five, what you get, it's it's ongoing. It's ongoing. So in fact, I got some of those, some of those math problems I actually uh, made out. I made into uh, Steph Jersey plus K's Jersey equals forty one. So like I even made like equations out of them. So um, again, if you're working with kids that's on the spectrum or working with kids that got special needs or even kids that got behavioral issues, it's very important for you to teach them at their level that they're interested in. You want to keep you want to teach you want to keep them focused. Otherwise, you'll lose them. You can't tell them, that, you know, how to read something or uh, it's really important for you to understand this. If they're not interested in it, you lost them. You got to get them interested in it. So, again, the special interest area is important. Autistic people, um, autistic people often have an intense and passionate level um, of focus on things of interest. Some have suggested that these are fixations, like I was saying earlier with the oral fixation with my son. Um, they're essential and they're arbitrary and lacking ir any real meaning and context. So um, what I found um, in my research, and researchers noticed this in, in previous studies, that special interests typical, typically focus on mechanical and how things work as opposed to psychological how people work so um, when you're dealing with someone that's on the spectrum and they're looking at their special interest area for example we're doing a basketball they're looking at basketball like okay how does this work what are they doing why are these five people together why is this one person shooting all the time why is this other person passing all the time they're looking at the whole bigger picture trying to make it make sense so it's um, it's really important um, when you're working with uh, kids that's on the spectrum. You break everything down and, and show what it works um, or how it works together as a whole. Um, sometimes these interests interests are lifelong. In other cases, they phase out and make room for other interests. Well, for my son specifically, his interest is basketball. He loves basketball, so I have to make that the nucleus of everything of everything. Even if I'm teaching geography, if 
when you're looking at this at this at this scorecard that the Warriors lost, unfortunately, it was like, what Friday, June seventh. I think that was like, I think that was probably the last game of the championship. So um, of course you got the the Warriors the the players got the Raptors players. Well, this is a great opportunity. You can ask them first and foremost, where's Toronto? He doesn't know where Toronto is. Perfect. You can pull out a map, point out Toronto. That might stick in his head just because he's going to put uh, Toronto or Toronto Raptors into Canada. You got to find out where Canada is on the map, blah, blah, blah. But it's teaching. At the end of the day, everything should be a teachable moment. So when you're using, um, when you're using the special interest area, it have to be something that they really like. And they don't mind sitting down and speaking forever um, about that one subject. I can give you an example of just specifically um, if I wanted to do a, a geog ge geographical maybe lesson plan based off the Warriors, I can go off their off their um, off their player roster from Jordan Bell to Bo um, Andrew Bogut, Cook, Cousins, Curry, Durant, Evans, Green, Iguodala. Of course, this is last um, last this the season that just passed. Um, Jones, Livingston, Looney, McKinney, and Thompson. Well, on all the scorecards, there's a um, they show you where they're on, where they're from, where they play that, how tall they are. It's so much that you can use to teach with that. And this is some of the things I talk about with um, helping the student exceed beyond the IEP's expectations. Because if you think outside the box and you know your student they have an interest in like basketball, for example. It should be no reason that you can help them exceed beyond the IEP goal by incorporating anything basketball into their curriculum. Geography, history, you can do history. You can just back up and in 2004, who was a champion in basketball? In 2001. In 1989, you can throw years, you can throw dates, but it makes it real and relevant. And this is how special interest can be used when you work with kids that's on the spectrum. Again, a part of my series on Autism in the Hood. If you have any questions, go ahead and email me. Call me at 510-239-7232. As you can tell, I'm doing this. I'm on. I'm doing this ongoing because the goal is to help those that need help. And also, at the same time, get myself out there because I've been working hard on working with autism, not only for my son, but also to um, bring this to our community because we need it and we're lacking. We're lacking. Other other communities have it and. I mean, it's it's systematic. It's it's almost it's, it's systematic. I mean, that's almost doing this to hurt us, but it's not gonna work. All right, checking out. Talk to you later. Hashtag YSGC on everything. Bye.